Welcome back to another video of Fishing Downtown Denver. And you know, I've been out there catching these bass like crazy. It's hard for me to keep up and put them all on video. So we're taking a look back at some of this lost footage that I found of these Denver bass. There's some good ones in this, guys. So let's go there now and check out some of this lost footage. We got them guys. Well, there's that one. Ooh, he was underneath all that slop by the rocks. And uh, we got her. And uh, I would definitely weigh this if uh, that catfish I caught. Man, I tried weighing that catfish fish and he demolished broke my scale so i can't weigh nothing anymore but uh boom look at that belly that is a nice belly so let's put it back in the water all right there's that one and man does she have a belly talk about a early morning special right before work that's freaking cool guys All right, so right here is a really good spot, you know, early morning, slick conditions. I mean, that looks like a mirror out there on the water. So uh, you don't want to make a big splash, you know, you want to start with your smallest bait that makes the least splash, which is this, and work up to the bait that makes the loudest splash. After that, you can't get them. But like I said, it's early morning, it's a little chilly, and these bass are gonna come up and rub up against these rocks right here to get warm. So we're gonna cast that out there and see what we get, guys. Early morning, worm on a jig head. It got us out. 
baby. Let's take a better look at this guy, yeah? Well, guys, early morning, worm on a jig head. Got us that baby right there. Look at that belly. So, let's get him back in the water, just rubbing up right against the rocks. A little chilly this morning. Ain't for them rocks, because they like to warm up on them. But, oh, you know what? Let me weigh this guy. Yeah, two pounds, 14 ounces. Again, on the dot. All right. And uh, let's measure this guy. Jeez, if this tape measure will work with me here. There we go. So, not too bad. 18 inches this fish is. All right, let's get him back in the water. All right, releasing that bass. Man, that's a nice one right there, guys. All right, two pounds, 14 ounces. Let's freaking go. And she's off to do something. So let's go do the same and get into another fish. Look at that, guys. Woo, I don't know if that's the same fish, but we're about to find out. Yeah, it certainly is. I think, no, damn, look at that. It's a different one. Holy smokes. I thought that was the one with the Ned rig in it, but it's a different bass, but we got him. Got worm on that jig head. Let's take a better look at this guy. All right, releasing that bass. Let's go. Okay, so I'm at the top of a hill, and I don't know if it's a bedding bass down there or if he's just uh, cruising the shoreline, but I'm gonna use the swim bait and try and get his butt, so let's go. Feels like a good one anyways. Feels like a four. <sighs> Holy heck guys, this is a good one. Look at that. And take a better look at this uh, mama. Oh my god. Look at that. Off of that swim bait. Let's freaking go. All right, so there's that one. Off of that worm on that jig head. That's a freaking good one, guys. Let's go ahead and wear. We, uh, actually, I just. We didn't use a worm on a jig head, we used a swim bait and uh, ended up getting this beauty here. Oh wow, four pounds, one ounce. Look at that guys. Four pounds, one ounce. Let's freaking go. Not too bad. That is a monstrous bat. And that to that a 19 inch fish guys 19 inches this one that's a freaking good one all right let's put her back 
All right, didn't have a whole lot of time to fish today, but uh, caught that one bass over there that was like a pound and a half. And this one, four pounds, one ounce, my God. Look at that belly. That was well worth it, guys. Ugh, glad I decided to come. There she goes. She's off. That was definitely a monster bass. All right, so now we're in the bonus catch and uh, I'm gonna be using this swim jig, the lightest one that they make with a creature bait on there. Let's go and we're just gonna be throwing on top of the slop and rolling it right back to us, acting like a top water frog. And uh, in my opinion, this right here, guys, is the best top water frog ever made. That's why I'd rather use this than a real frog. But let's get out there and get one. Holy crap, that one, guys. Ugh, top water, baby. Off of that jig. Crazy. Kept getting blow ups, but kept missing it. Finally connected. And it came with a side of lettuce, let me tell you. As you see, that jig right there on the side of his mouth. Bang. Not too bad, guys. Getting back in the water. Yeah. All right, releasing this bass here. All right. Try and uh, get another one, but not bad for a bonus catch, guys. Just running this uh, jig that has all kinds of grass now on it. But man, this thing's deadly. I like using these uh, swim jigs, especially because that's what this one is. It's uh, the lightest swim jig that uh, that they have. And I just put a little creature bait on there and it acts like legs. And to me, that's the best frog ever made. Let's freaking go. Not bad for a bonus catch. Well, that's going to wrap it up here on the channel of this lost footage we found. And we definitely got into some really nice sized bass in this one, guys, using a variety of different baits and techniques to get the job done. And for that bonus catch, we use that light swim jig with that creature bait profile. That thing is deadly on top water, guys, as you've seen. So you guys like this stuff and you're learning something. You know what to do. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.